Hey, good morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa back from a week off, and here we go into weather. The weather pattern is changing. We're going to be in a very active storm pattern uh, here the next couple of weeks, probably. So uh, I'll detail that for you. Hey, Gary Clark, you are number one. I don't know what you win, but you win something. Hey, good morning, pairing. Parrington and Pam Baxter. So what we have, and I've already been up and uh, at it this morning on MLive.com. I wrote a story about how we have at least three weather systems and what I'm calling three snowstorms heading toward Michigan over the next 10 days, maybe a fourth into early February, and they'll each track a little bit different. So you got to track these with me. So it's not as if you're in Ann Arbor or Detroit or Lansing or Grand Rapids, Saginaw right now, you're going to get four snowstorms. We're going to have across lower Michigan, three to four accumulating snows, and some parts of the state will be in what you would call a snowstorm. I use, I use four inches as the bottom threshold of a snowstorm. Now, mo half of you will say, Four inches is in a snowstorm, and I agree with you there. Southeast Michigan, it's the low end of a snowstorm. Six inches, most would call it a snowstorm. Eight to 12 inches, all would call it a snowstorm. So just bear that in mind that there's no exact answer, and I kind of have to feel you out over the last 30 years as to what you call a snowstorm. Hey, thank you, Lulu Schultz. Um, good morning, South Lion. Tim Welch, good morning to you. And Northville, Jim Biddle. Good morning. All right, let's get to her. Show you what's going on. So our first storm system coming from the southwest. It's going to the low pressure center is going to move into Texas and Louisiana and then track northeast. And the southeast part of Michigan appears to be on the north side of the storm. So not a snowstorm for everyone. I'll show that to you. And if it inches 50 miles further south, then the heaviest snow inches just out of the Detroit and Monroe area into northern Ohio. So we still have a little time. I think we'll be putting it together uh, late this evening as the, um, all of the data will be in what we call the high resolution model uh, spectrum at that point. And I think this winter storm watch swath gives you a good idea of where all of the weather service offices think the heaviest snow will be. Um, and that's from Oklahoma to Northwest Arkansas, Southeast Missouri, Southern Illinois, Central Indiana. And then they stop, and that's not because the storm stops, but they stop because it's too far out in the future for them to issue a winter storm watch. So. Um, Detroit's National Weather Service office probably will issue those winter storm watches for some counties in the southeast, probably from Detroit southward uh, this afternoon, four o'clock or so, and you'll see them extended by Ohio as well. But that should give you a trajectory of where the heaviest, an idea of the trajectory of the heaviest snow. Hey, Sanford and Brenda Stevens, um, hoping for snow in Northport. Cherie White, uh, not with this storm system, but you always get some lake effect after these kind of storms. So here's the forecast, okay? So this is the uh, forecast today, and you've got some, eh, okay travel. We've had an inch here and there. Tuesday, uh, decent travel, and you see the storm coming out of the southern plains. This is Wednesday morning. The snow shield coming up to the Michigan border, uh, 7 a.m. Wednesday. This is 1 p.m. Wednesday. There's the storm center. It's in Kentucky. It's at about Cincinnati, which, which puts the brunt of the heaviest snow. And I have, do want to emphasize this. The brunt of the heaviest snow with this storm will likely be, the axis of heaviest will likely be northern and central Ohio. And southeast lower Michigan will be on the edge of that snowstorm. And then those of you in Grand Rapids, Saginaw Bay City, Flint, you'll be in some accumulating snow, but maybe just 
an inch or two or three or so, something like that. Oh, sorry, let me get this back to where you can see it here. Uh, it's it's Monday, right? Uh, Mac, Matt Hackett needs a major storm, please. Well, okay, put in your order. Uh, so here we go again. So here's Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, 7 p.m. If you're doing a flight, Wednesday afternoon or evening, Detroit Metro could be a problem because you'd be in a steady, moderate snow at that time for uh, many hours, six hours or so. Um, this would be 7 p.m. Wednesday. Overnight Wednesday night, transitioning to lighter snow. Thursday morning, 7 a.m., storm system pretty well done. Okay, so that's storm number one. Now, storm number two comes from a different direction, and it is on the edge of colder air. Not extreme cold, but getting us down to where we're supposed to be at this time of the year. Boy, a lot of storm fans on here lately. Matt Hackett needs a storm, and Nicole Be Belford needs a storm. Uh, Dan Bear is Kalamazoo in the one to three inch zone. I'm not giving a map just yet, but yes, I would say that Kalamazoo would be. Um, do my kids need to do a snow dance for Albion to get hit? Yes, yes. Larry Pusker, February 4th, driving to Florida. That's too far out. Keep asking maybe about the last few days of January. I can give you a feel for that. Okay, so. The next system on Friday is, I don't want to call it an Alberta clipper, but it comes in from the northwest. That would be sporadic snow, you know, in the north, a few inches in the south, one or two inches. And then as we go into early next week, or Sunday, I should say, into Monday, look what happens again. Here is another one of these west-southwest storm systems. So that's storm number three before the end of January. And then as we get to February, this is January 30th, February 1st. Uh, Carrie Jeroma, we have someone driving from Florida to TC, leaving late today, driving up 65. Should be good, I'll back up to that. If they get on their horse and keep going, um, should be good, but we'll back up to that in just a second. So toward the beginning of February, here comes another one of those southwestern storms. So basically, as I set this in motion, you can see that we have repeated storm systems coming into the northwest, diving to the south, picking up moisture, and coming our way. Now, somebody was asking about uh, I-65 tomorrow from Florida to Traverse City. There you are, Tuesday morning, dry. Tuesday afternoon, dry Tuesday evening. Should be a beautiful drive. Just stay ahead and don't stop halfway. Otherwise, you wake up Wednesday morning in uh, northern Kentucky or Cincinnati trying to just drive halfway, and you're in a mess then after that on Wednesday. All right, so a little closer of a look for you now. So hopefully you're getting, uh, hey, thanks for joining me too. By the way, I do like vacation. I feel rested. I'm right on top of it. Uh, it's not digging ditches here, but it's more mental torture with weather never stops type thing. So I need a little bit of a break every once in a while. Uh, 365 strong. If you could please hit the share button. We've got more. Let's get to it here. So this is a little bit closer of a look to give you a feel for where that heavy snow band could be. So tonight there is a little bit of snow in the north, just an inch or so. But here's the storm system, all based off of the European. We'll use that right now. The U.S. model is um, need, is similar, and we'll be fine-tuning as it gets closer tomorrow. But And then this is 1 p.m. Wednesday afternoon as the snow starts to really come down. And uh, so I would call it a Wednesday afternoon Wednesday evening, Wednesday overnight type snow, okay? And there you can see uh, Wednesday evening, the heaviest just southeast of Monroe in the Toledo area. But the moderate snow up to Detroit, 
up to Ann Arbor and then tapering as you go to through Flint to Saginaw Bay City, Kalamazoo, and then tapering to light stuff as you go Grand Rapids, Bay City, if it all winds up like that. Now, here's a, a good indicator. You know, I want to kind of stay away from amounts right now, but what I will tell you, because I know you all want to know this, what I will tell you is that this is a in the heaviest band, this is a six to 10 inch snow. And on the edges of that heaviest band where we will lie, it's a four to seven inch snow. And it's a quick gradient uh, taper down as you go north and west, you know, going from five to four to three to two to one over probably a 25 mile uh, span or so, something like that. Uh, so, you know, let's verbally call it four to seven in the southeast one to three uh, north and west of that heavy band. And the weather service from Detroit has this great graphic. This is probability, let me scooch it down just a little bit, probability of four inches or more of snow. And you can see Detroit and Ann Arbor have about a 60 to 70% probability. Um, the far south, Coldwater, Hillsdale, Lenaway County, Lori Barth, has a 70%, 70 to 80% chance of four inches or more. Then you go to Grand Rapids, you've got a five to 10% chance, and Bay City and Saginaw, five to 10% chance. So that should give you a real feel for what we have uh, coming if the track stays the same. Now, let's look into the extended and everything comes up southwest to northeast storm track which can be wet, it can be snowy. I would say very rarely do we get hit by all four systems with the heaviest band of snow, but two of those, three of those, and that puts us back to um, getting some snow. It puts us back in the winter, basically. I believe that from here out in well into February, we're going to be in a winter pattern. Probably not extremely cold, probably 25 to 35-ish for afternoon highs, but that also means the moisture content could be big. And that's what the Climate Prediction Center, the folks that make the extended forecasts, kind of want to relay to you, and I want to show you. So let's look at, uh, let's look at, um, let's look at six to 10 day forecast. Temperature, a little colder than normal, precipitation, above normal, eight to 14 day forecast into February 5th, colder than normal by a bit, precipitation above normal. Three to four week forecast. Now this was only, this only produced once a week. Um, hey, good morning, Kingsley, Carrie Draper. Um, this is only produced once a week on Friday, but notice what it says for February 4th to 17th, bullseye of above normal precipitation on Michigan. It does lean toward warmer than normal, but I don't anticipate that that would be significantly warmer than normal. Now they've updated the one month and three month forecast, and let's go into those. Um, I'll be writing about these on MLive after we get past this first uh, snow system, but look at February. They're now forecasting about normal temperatures, and look at that storm track from Missouri Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, up into lower Michigan. That's a snow and slop and freezing rain and sleet and yuck um, thing if you're going to travel. Three-month forecast, February, March, April, updated also last late last week. Normal temperature, and look at that storm track. Missouri up to Michigan. And why? Um, we talked about this. Going into winter, they have identified that of the La Nina pattern of this winter will produce that storm track. And I tell you what, it looks like they're going to be NOAA's extended forecasts are going to be right on on that. So point being is we've had a break. Winter was on hold for uh, after the pre-Christmas blizzard. Winter went on hold. Pause button for most of January. Now the unpause button is gonna be hit, so to speak, about Wednesday, and we'll be back into her. And about every three to four days, we'll have to track a storm, we'll have to track that big red L, the center of it, 
And if we're on the north side of that, just on the north side of it, we're in the heavy snow. If that big red L tracks to Kentucky, the snow shifts into Ohio. So if you're going to be some doing some driving from Michigan to the southeast or back, you got to keep it tuned to me on MLive. You know I will keep you updated. And I would greatly appreciate if today you know that somebody that's weather sensitive, one of your friends travels, RV, whatever, heading south, snowbird, uh, spring break, you um, send them a link to MLive.com slash weather and my post. I would greatly appreciate that very much. Uh, let's see if we have any questions here. Um, good morning, Genesee, Kevin Nag. So it looks like we've covered uh, everything. <laughs> has zero inches predicted for Port Ritchie, Florida, says Joyce Reynolds. Okay, rub it in. But you know, some of us are ready for some snow. Uh, Kathleen Weber. Uh, hi, Grand Rapids. Uh, Debbie Walls. What about Huron County? Huron County right now looks like it would be north of the heaviest band of snow. Um, you could have some lake enhancement by an inch or two. So I would say, you know, Huron County is a couple of inches of snow all totaled by the time it ends there. It's about time winter rise in Pigeon, Michigan, says Debbie Walls. Yeah, we're going to have. Um, you know, uh, we're having the pause button. Now, <laughs> it could be shifted as far as winter goes, so be careful what you wish for because you saw those extended forecasts. February will probably be winter. March could be winter. April could be winter. It's hard to say right now. There you go. Thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. And I'll be here all week keeping you updated. If you're in the southeast, expect a moderate snowstorm. If you're Grand Rapids to Tri-Cities northward, don't expect a snowstorm just now unless the track changes a little bit. Take care. We'll uh, be posting for you on MLive and see you back here tomorrow. Bye.